Hi guys, Ben here. Welcome back to another video. Just rounding up today's news in terms of transfers. Now, as I said yesterday, this is a time of year when you start to hear things heating up, and today has been a bit quieter than the days previous, but still some things to touch on. And we'll start with Mohamed Salah, and actually the positive news around the Egyptian, who's been on international duty uh, with Egypt over the past week or so. He scored against Portugal. But he hasn't apparently attracted the attention of Real Madrid, according to Spanish football expert Guillem Balague. I use the term expert lightly, I suppose, and I may think uh, he's not as um, clever as he might do. But he says Salah is a difficult one because Real Madrid have no mention of him as a candidate to be a Galactico. He talked about the Sky Sports. You, you can think there is a market in Egypt and he is a star of the Premier League. He has a lot of things to go for him, but if they get Hazard, they won't need Salah. So Eden Hazard seems to have been linked with a move to Madrid or to um, you know, a bigger club than Chelsea for a very long time now, for about two or three seasons. It does seem to always be Madrid that is the main one. Um, whether Ronaldo finally moves on, whether they're going to try and phase Gareth Bale out. Um, obviously Isco, um, you, you know, there's a few players there that have been there for quite a long time. Um, obviously Hamez went to Bayern, so things changing a little bit. Is it finally time they go for someone else on the wing? Um, we'll wait and see. Uh, but apparently Salah won't be that man. He's obviously been crucial for Liverpool this season and, you know, it, it, Whenever a player is this good for us, we always kind of do fear them leaving. It happened with Suarez in 2013-14 and with Salah being so remarkable, you would find it hard to believe that someone like a Madrid wouldn't come in for him. Um, but apparently, you know, according to Balague, that isn't the case at the moment. Obviously, Bayern Munich, um, uh, you know, and Barcelona, the other two sort of elite, elite clubs in Europe that you, you might think might fancy him. But as yet, thankfully, um, no strong links. Uh, I know it's very early on to be to be sort of writing off him leaving in the summer, and I, I'm I'm already kind of bracing myself for someone coming in. But he seems happy at Liverpool. And, you know, you, there are there are bigger clubs out there, of course. As, as much as we hate to admit that, we uh, we're a special club. We're a huge club. We're competing in the European competitions at the deep end of the competitions as well. Um, but you know, this has been a, a staggeringly good first season for Salah and. You know, I'm sure there will be interest, but having said that, um, from interviews past, it looks like he has wanted to come to Liverpool for a while. Um, enjoys playing on the Jurgen Klopp. How could you not enjoy playing on the Jurgen Klopp with this attacking football? He's getting all the joy in the world. He's playing alongside Roberto Firmino and Sadio Mane, um, and hopefully with the reinforcements that are coming in in midfield with Naby Keita. Um, and perhaps elsewhere too, he can progress even further next season. We can compete for the title. But for now, Real Madrid, who have always been the one, the one club that have been mentioned in the same breath as Mo Salah uh, since he started banging all his goals for Liverpool. Um, apparently, it's Eden Hazard uh, that's still the number one target for them. And as I say about Hazard, this is surely the season he makes the move. He seems to have a season on and a season off in terms of form. I mean, last season he was irresistible. This season he's still been very good. Um, but he's never really put in two astonishing seasons back to back. Um, and it's all getting a bit stale at Chelsea with Conte obviously probably going to leave in the summer. Um, you know, they, they may well come back with a new manager next season and win the title. You just never know with Chelsea. They seem to be uh, probably the most inconsistent of, of the big six clubs in the league in terms of season on season performance. So maybe it's time they replace Hazard. Maybe it's time they start a bit afresh over at Stamford Bridge. Um, and I'd welcome that if it meant that Salah is left alone. Now, another man that I want to be left alone is obviously Roberto Firmino. Now, <laughs> there's obviously speculation around Lewandowski to Real Madrid. Um, again, it feels like it's surely the summer he's going to move if he's going to make that move. I think this summer in Europe you might see a few big switches like this. Maybe Griezmann will finally move somewhere. Um, will we finally see the Messi or Ronaldo move? Probably not. Uh, maybe Gareth Bale, but uh, Lewandowski is one of the names mentioned. And I remember Rory Smith saying recently, I think it was on the BBC, on the BBC podcast, that if he did go to... Uh, uh, if Lewandowski did go to Real Madrid, then don't be surprised if Bayern go for Firmino. And I remember that that com completely took off, and people were saying that Rory Smith was starting a rumor about Firmino going to Bayern uh, when he, all he really did was kind of put two and two together and suggest that that might be the case. That seems to be what Ian Wright has done. Uh, former Arsenal striker Ian Wright has said to Sky Sports that they're talking about Lewandowski to Real Madrid. And if that happens, buy him on Bobby Firmino. I don't know if he's just picked that up from Rory Smith. I mean, it's Ian Wright we're talking about. It's not a uh, it's not exactly the most reliable of sources when it comes to Liverpool transfers. Uh, he described Firmino as unbelievable. So, um, 
the article in the Echo just says that there's been speculation around the South American attracting attention from other clubs across Europe. Um, there's not been much of that really. Uh, but again, as, as with Salah, he's kind of a, an irreplaceable player for Liverpool. We're not even targeting a striker this summer. So I think this is a, this is a point where we're going to build a team around Bobby Firmino. You know, him and Salah, both in their sort of early mid twenties, uh, uh, these guys need to be on Liverpool for for at least four or five years. You know, from now, I I, I suggest because uh, they are a class above the, the caliber of player we've had in the years prior. Who do you think is going to have the longer Liverpool career? Who do you think is going to stay at the club for longer from now on? So obviously, Firmino's got a, a bit of a head start, but ignore that. If they start from now, who's going to leave Liverpool? Uh, last, so who's gonna who's gonna go on to, uh, to to have the most prolonged Liverpool career? Will it be Salah? Will it be Firmino? Vote above. I think, I think it might be Firmino. You know, I just think, I'm not sure why. I just, I just think he might be here for another four or five years. Whereas Salah, maybe I can see if he continues like this in, in another two or three years, I think he might move on. So I'd say Firmino is gonna outlast him in Liverpool shirt. Uh, but let me know. Vote up there. And finally. Um, this was last night. Um, Emery Chan. I mean, you know, we've we've gone back and forth on Emery Chan all, all year. He's obviously in the last six months of his contract, in the last three months of his contract now, obviously, and it just never goes away. The rumours of um, Juventus, Bayern Munich, Man City all being keen. Uh, and there was a report over the weekend that claimed he wanted two hundred thousand pounds a week to stay at Liverpool, or in excess of that to stay at Liverpool. And he's responded, as I'm sure you may have seen last night, saying, I've just returned from international duty with the German team and working coming back from injury. Interesting stories about me in the press. I'm no longer going to comment on any false stories or rumours. Looking forward to getting back on the pitch ASAP. Uh, so he's de denying these these reports that he wants over 200k a week. And, uh, you know, I guess rightly so. It, it always seems to happen when players go away on international break. I'm not sure where the quotes, or where the quotes uh, arose from. I think... Uh, it's just like it's like with Decore yesterday, um, saying that he'd love to move to Liverpool. It always seems to be something international break um, that pisses off uh, certain sets of fans. So Emery Chan's story came out, and he's not the most popular man around uh, at the moment, just because of how he's kind of stalling Liverpool and um, looks like he's going to run down his contract. And maybe that's been his intention all along. He's a bit of a um, what's the word? He's a bit of a bit of a recluse, like he's. This isn't the first time he's, he's, he's had been, found himself in this kind of situation. Obviously, we got him on the cheap um, from Leverkusen, and there was a bit of confusion over his departure from Bayern Munich in the first place as well. So he's a bit of a difficult guy to deal with, or his agent is a difficult guy to deal with. But I think we've got to come to terms with the fact that he will be leaving the club. Uh, I, I've pretty much accepted it, and you know I think this, there's no surprise that we've already been linked with likes of Jorginho, Decore, and Didi, and the other sort of midfielders that can play a defensive role. So Emery Chan is probably going to leave. Uh, but these kind of comments are interesting, and uh, you know, if, if he was demanding two hundred thousand pounds a week when the likes of Mohamed Salah are on half that or, or, or whatever, then uh, that would have been quite remarkable. But he's obviously very confident in himself, and you know, his, his quotes from the other day were that he, he thought he could play for a very big club next season. So, you know, whether that means he whether he doesn't think we're a very big club, um, he's not going to be the most popular man once he leaves. I don't, I don't think. I don't think people are going to hold him in, with much fondness. Um, especially if he carries on talking himself into <laughs> into a hole like he is now. But there you go. Uh, so not much news in terms of incomings today. Um, only really the Firmino and Salah stuff, which isn't really big news. It's just um, especially on Firmino. I mean, I, I, I don't think anything's going to happen there. And Salah. It's good that Balaguer thinks that Madrid are more interested in Hazard. And Emre Chan is what it is. Um, I don't think it makes too much difference to any of us. So, as I say. Uh, I'll be back with some more transfer news very, very soon. Subscribe to this channel if you're new because I'm going to go right the way through the summer as I did last year, uh, talking through all the transfers, giving my opinions on them, uh, obviously match previews, reviews, logs and everything as well to come. So subscribe, please, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. It's Ben Might Say on all of those platforms. And I'll see you next time.